Welcome to Học Tiếng Anh với Joseph, where we build vocabulary and practice pronunciation through reading. Continuing with uh, The Cat in the Box, A History of Science in 100 Experiments. Today we will read story number 72. Hôm nay chúng ta sẽ đọc chuyện số 72, Making Vitamin C. As we can see, it's a team effort. Although the importance of what became known as vitamin C had been known for many years, it was only in 1930s that the chemical structure of this substance, ascorbic acid, was worked out. This enabled the team that had determined the structure to develop a way to synthesize the vitamin the first vitamin to be manufactured artificially. The leader of the team was Norman Hayworth, based at the University of Birmingham in England. In the late 1920s, Hayworth was investigating the structure of carbon hydrates. These are compounds built up from carbon and water, hence the name. The simplest carbohydrates are sugars, but the basic sugar units can be linked to make more complex molecules, including things like starch and the cellulose that formed, forms the structure of plants. Each molecule of the kind of sugar found in grapes contains just six atoms of carbon, six of oxygen, and 12 of hydrogen but a single molecule of cellulose contains thousands of atoms. It was only in 1925 that the structures of the most basic sugars were determined. They are built around rings like benzene. Opening the way for Hayworth to and others to work out the structure of more complex carbon hydrates. This is vitamin C. At the end of the 1920s, Albert Sand Georgi, a Hungarian initially working at Groningen in the Netherlands and afterward based in Cambridge, isolated a compound that he called hexuronic, hexuronic acid from animal adrenal glands and the juice of plants including oranges and cabbages. He had been studying the function of the adrenal system and the way in which a failure of the system causes a fatal Addison's disease. Victims become marked with a brown pigmentation that reminded him of the way some fruits such as apples and bananas turn brown when they decay. This brown color is related to oxidation, so he decided to study plants that do not turn brown in this way to find out what stops the oxidation. He found that these plants contain a powerful reducing agent that stops the development of the brown material as he later later remarked, there was great excitement in my little basement room in Groningen when I found that the adrenal cortex contained a similar reducing substance in relatively large quantities. This was the hexuronic acid. Since Giorgi suspected that he had found vitamin C, but he lacked the facilities to test this speculation. Then Giorgi went back to Hungary at the beginning of the 1930s where he discovered that he could also obtain hexuronic acid from paprika, a common ingredient of Hungarian cooking. Experiments there showed unmistakably that hexuronic acid prevents curvy, that is, in an antiscorbutic. In April 1932, his team reported 
that they had been able to protect guinea pigs from scurvy by dosing them daily with one milligram of hexuronic acid. Also, the antiscorbutic activity of plant juices corresponded to the amount of hexuronic acid they contained. So, once Haywood had determined the structure, its structure, the name was changed to ascorbic acid. Hayworth hey was an obvious person to analyze the acid because it has chemical similarities to acids derived from sugars. The basic chemical formula of ascorbic acid is C6H8O6. But the question was how those atoms are arranged in three dimensions. Then Georgi visited Haworth to discuss his discoveries and provided him with a sample of hesuronic acid. The Birmingham team tackled the puzzle from several directions. Key evidence came from the still relatively new science of X-ray crystallography, which showed that the molecules have an unusually flat, almost two-dimensional structure. By analyzing the products produced when ascorbic acid reacted with other substances, for example by oxidation, the Birmingham team were able to show that the molecule is made up of a short chain of carbon atoms attached to a five-sided ring built around four carbon atoms and one oxygen atom, with other atoms attached at the corners. The oxidation process they used involved ozone, the form of oxygen in which there are three atoms per molecule rather than the more common diatomic form of oxygen. In 1933, the year after he had identified the structure of vitamin C, Hayworth was able to synthesize it from chemical raw materials. Another British chemist, Edmund Hist, also synthesized the vitamin, but a key technique was developed by the Pole, Thaddeus Reichstein. In 1934, the rights to the Reichstein process were bought by the firm Hoffman La Roche, who began marketing um, vitamin C under the name Redosome. Redosome. Then Gyogi received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1937 for his discoveries in connection with the biological combustion processes with special reference to vitamin C and the catalyst, catal catalysis of fumaric acids. The same year, he was received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his investigations on carbohydrates and vitamin C. To the vocabulary section, ascorbic acid, ascorbic acid, synthesize, synthesize, artificially, artificially, carbohydrates, carbohydrates, starch. Carbohydrates, cellulose, cellulose, adrenal glands, adrenal glands, failure, failure. This is a very difficult word, I think, for all of us. So we have to practice failure quite um, multiple, multiple times. The sound is as follows. Failure, so <laughs> all of that, failure, pigmentation, 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 oxidation, oxidation, speculation, speculate, speculation, unmistakably, unmistakably, unmistakably. Antiscorbutic. Anti or anti is fine. Antiscorbutic or antiscorbutic. 
tackle, tackling, tackle, crystallography, 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 combustion, combustion, combustion. No, I'm sorry, combustion, combustion, combustion. It's kind of between shun and zan. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. And as usual, I will see you in the next story. Bye for now.